Okay, it is January 4th. And I'm going to take my brand new 2003 Goldwing out for a little test run. I think it's like 42 or 43 degrees out. I was working on my 2007 there, getting that one ready for sale. <coughs> and I thought maybe I should uh, take this guy out for a test run. I just put this one together, and this is actually the second drive I've taken this one on. I say it's brand new because I never owned it before, but it's a, uh, a 2003. It's got 42,000 miles on it. And as you can see, it's all shined up and decked out. Did some custom mud flaps on this one. And I got a, a 3D printer for Christmas. So I'm making parts. Made a little brake lock there. And I got this uh, nice wrist rest here. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's almost like shirt sleeve weather. And this is, uh, I'm about 30 miles south of Minneapolis, St. Paul. Now I just sold my 2001. I had that one for 16 years, put 161,000 miles on that one. And I decided just for the heck of it to buy three gold wings. So that's what I did. And I kept this one for myself, sold the 2001. Uh, basically, I can't tell any difference. They're identical machines. You know, except for things like the, the hand grips on these are heated where my other one they weren't and uh, you know this one's black and the other one's red so this one's gonna be a lot harder to keep clean I imagine but this is just incredible you know we used to snowmobile and uh, there was so much snow that you could drive cross-country across uh, farmland across the fences and everything there was four or five feet of snow now we're lucky if we can keep two inches uh, it's been like this for about 15 years. Pretty much what's going on all over the world is uh, the weather is all upside down. Well, I gotta say, test ride number one is uh, a success here. This thing really cruises. I usually take them out when I first build them. Uh, mainly they make sure the steering the handlebars are straight and it doesn't pull to one side or the other uh, If it pulls to one side or the other then it's probably a caster problem uh, Which is adjustable on mine uh, if the handlebars are crooked I adjust the tie rods or the toe in and uh, The toe end has really nothing to do with the way it handles a lot of people think that's the ticket, but it's not It's it's a caster and the camber that make a a big difference plus some little things besides that and this one seems to be dialed in pretty good it doesn't pull to one side or the other it goes down the road real smooth uh, the heated grips are nice I'm barehanded here and my hands are warm and I've got it on the second lowest setting and I'm going to drop it down to low because it's pretty warm I don't know how I would handle high But I remember from the snowmobile days, the heated grips were mandatory. We had, you know, heated grips and thumb warmers, and without that, you just freeze your hands off. Yeah, pretty good. Got her up to about 65 there. No shakes or anything. You know, sometimes these, these smaller tires on the front are kind of hard to get them where they're uh, in balance or, or round, I should say. They're usually balanced okay. They're just out of rounds. I end up, uh, you know, really doing a lot of research on trying to get correct tires. And, uh, these are an Achilles tire, which I just switched to, and I, I like them. They're uh, 
a very narrow tire which is kind of a mandatory thing the smaller the tires on these things the better they handle uh, if you look at the Can-Ams you know they got it pretty much zeroed in they got a very narrow tire they think their tires are uh, about four inches wide these are about five and uh, a lot of the other guys are going with these uh, 17 and 18 inch uh, low profile tires and <laughs> I tell you what I uh, I tried some that were just an inch wider than what I have here and uh, you could barely drive the thing it was just so awful so uh, tires make a big deal it's it's um, you know part of the geometry and there's there's a lot of technical reasons why why tires don't work and uh, you know it's just part of the research that you get through in about in the seven or eight years you do these kind of things Let's see what temperature it is 46 degrees it was a lot hotter yesterday it was 47 tomorrow's supposed to be 42 today was only supposed to be 37 so it's actually warmer than they predicted Yeah, this is kind of fun. Coming home on a Saturday night, I was helping my youngest son move. And uh, I decided to hit two deer right here with my truck, not this. And uh, I was going to check to see if they're st still laying in the ditch here. Or whatever happened to them. Nailed them both right here. And I don't see anything out in the ditch there. I'm going to be a little curious to see how mileage is on this one. My, uh, my other wing wasn't the best. I think I got average around 36 to 40, 36, sometimes 42 if I was in the mountains. I'm hoping this one might be a little bit better. This is actually the first roundabout in our area here and this one was put in because uh, there are a lot of motorcycle accidents here. This is one of those roads where it doesn't intersect a, a, a Pier 90 or 180 I guess I should say and uh, I guess 90 is correct. And so people would lose motorcycles in the uh, window post and just pull it right out in front of them and we had a couple get killed here and a couple was pretty seriously injured and so they stuck this roundabout in there and there has not been a serious accident since. So now we have uh, two of them in town, actually three, we have three in town and they're going to add two more and then this one out here. So uh, they're getting to be kind of a big deal. I like them, I think they're they're a lot of fun to ride around and it really keeps the traffic moving nicely.
guy who lives right there, he's got, uh, I think, nine gold wings. And a couple of them have uh, 800 to a million miles on them, 800,000 to a million. Uh, he did a uh, cross-country run here a couple years ago. He did uh, 15,000 miles in 10 days. So do the math on that one. I don't know how he did it, but... So good. Let's see. 21 miles. The 3D printer came in handy. I got this little brake thing I can stick on here. So the bike doesn't roll down the driveway while I punch in my secret code.